I'm James Bailey from Transmill. Uh, just to give a very short introduction to uncertainties, uh, a lot of people seem to get quite confused with what uncertainties are, so hopefully uh, for those of you who have not come across this concept before, this will be useful. Um, I normally like to describe it in the simple way of just someone is asking you the time. So you look at your watch and you say, yeah, it's 20 past four. Then the question might come back to you, how accurate is this? How sure are you of this time? And then you must think, well, where did I set my watch from? Where did I get the time from? This is imported uncertainties. And maybe you got it from another clock on the wall in the office when you first set your watch. So there would have been some unknown, some uncertainty in the time when you first set your watch to this time. This, when we do a calibration, will be on the certificate that we have done for us from the lab that would supply that information. So this is imported uncertainties. So that's one of the things where you're a little unsure of what the time might actually be. Uh, another one will become, how good can you read your watch? Uh, for instance, if it's a digital watch and only displays minutes, hours and minutes, then you can never be sure of the time to within a second or two. Um, so you instantly have resolution comes in to your uncertainty. Um, because you can't say it's 4.21 and 30 seconds or 4.21 and 35 seconds because you can't see the seconds. So resolution comes in to that uncertainty that you must give your friend when he asks you the time. Another thing would be is how good is your watch? If your watch is gaining or losing time the longer since it was last calibrated, last set, the greater the unknown will be. Um, it is possible to calculate for a constant drift, but a varying drift is impossible to calculate. So this becomes another uncertainty, another unknown when you're trying to give a precise time. Uh, as the as you look more closely into this, all kinds of other things start to appear. Um, and this is often the case with electrical measurements or temperature measurements, where there are many components, um, lead connections, thermals, many different things that loading effects that will come in to the uncertainty. But I hope this short video talking about giving the time has given some kind of feel for what an uncertainty is. So really, we're never too sure of what the absolute value of anything ever is, because there is always uncertainty.